are now entering the prep zone. I'm Hunter Robinson. Welcome to Mandeville for this men's basketball 5A bi-regional matchup between the Mandeville Skippers and the Acadiana Wrecking Rams. With the Skippers playing at home, we'll have to see how that home crowd has an effect. All right, Coach, what are you going to have to do to come out of this game with a victory tonight? Well, we're going to have to stop their transition. We're going to have to run back on defense so they don't get no uh, quick buckets. We're going to make sure it's a half-court game. We're going to have to watch their defense, make sure their defense doesn't create offense for them. All right, so that's the biggest thing. We've got to shoot well uh, and just handle the pressure. So it's going to be a game of tempos. Hopefully we'll play at our tempo and uh, handle their pressure. But really, I think the key is watching the film and watch, talking to people is getting back, not giving them easy buckets because they push it up. All right, Coach, you're seated lower playing on the road tonight. What kind of things does your team have to do to come out with a victory? Well, we got to play consistent on, on both ends of the court. Real discipline. They're a good, solid team. They shoot the ball well. We got to guard the right way, not take silly chances. Hopefully, we shoot the ball well, score some points along with it. And Berrigan wins the tip, and with that, we're underway in the deep blue sea. Berrigan kicks it over to Priola, gets it back, goes up for the shot, but kicks it out to Dugas on the outside, trying to make something happen. Skipper's passing the ball around. Haven't been able to find any open space so far. Logan Dukas to Hunter Dukas who finds a lane and puts it in for two with the layup. And so the Skippers strike on their first possession. Now Deontay Noel, the senior, running the point for Acadiana Wrecking Rams. And Anthony Antoine almost got to the basket there. And just missed the layup. Dugas drives in the lane, but that one's stolen by Noel. Coming back on the fast break. The good fast break defense by the Skippers to get back and stop the run. And Noel drives inside, tries to hand it off. The ball's on the floor. Finally recovered by number 35, Anthony Antoine, but he couldn't make anything happen with it. And Skipper's coming back, stops and pops from three. What a shot by Logan Dugas on the fast break. Skippers are now up 5-0. Noel to Cooper at the top of the key. Kicks it back across. Now Noel from the corner stops and pops. No good rebound by Berrigan. And now Priola, the senior point guard, drops it off to Dugas. Screen set by Berrigan. Ball kicked out to the outside. And the three is safe by Logan Berrigan. And just like that, Mandeville starts on a 7-0 run. The Wrecking Rams coach, Swain Searley, needs a break. So three possessions so far by the Mandeville Skippers and three shots sank. Acadiana looking to answer. Coming out of the timeout, Cooper puts the moves on screen by Cormier, didn't work. And now it's back to Noel at the top of the key. And the leading scorer to Edward Cormier misses. Cormier averaging 15.2 points per game. But the Skippers have played pretty good defense on him so far. Hunter Dugas with a spin move, kicks it out. And again, it's on the corner is Brannigan. Dugas gets the rebound, the ball stripped out. The jump ball is called. Jump ball is the call. And it's going to be the Wrecking Rams possession. That's the first possession this game that the Mandeville Skippers have not converted into a basket. Cooper kicks it over to Cormier. That one's no good. Rebound by Berrigan. Hunter Dugas kicks it over to Priola. Priola resets the offense. 
Triola back to the top of the key. Logan Dukas drives inside, loses the handle, kicks it out to Boudreaux. So once again, this possession's now hit a minute for the Mandeville Skippers. Taking their time though, and they find the inside lane. Good pass by Priola. Logan Dugas with two more points. He already has five tonight. So Mandeville so far holding on to the ball, getting good shots, and up nine to nothing. Noel kicks it out to Edward Cormier. Gets it over to Anthony Antoine, and he sinks the shot. Nine to three, that's a three-pointer for Anthony Antoine. Anthony Antoine for three. Dugas stops and pops a three, that one's off. Rebound by Berrigan inside to Boudreaux. Mandeville converting on the second chance point. Four Mandeville's five starters have points traveling called. And that's the second turnover already for the Rams. A couple subs coming into the game now for the Rams. Number three, Alwan Francis getting his first action of the night. And by Keith and Mooton checking back into the game. Dugas thought about the shot, gets him in the air and scores! So Logan Dukas with seven of Mandeville's 13 points, five minutes into this game, and Mandeville's already up by 10. That one's put up by Antoine again, but that one misses. So Hunter Dugas putting moves on. That one's inside the Berrigan, working on his man, and that one's up and in. So Berrigan, two of two from the floor now, has four points. Another timeout called by the Rams. It's 15 to three with 2.22 left in the first quarter. So far in this one, Mandeville has made smart passes, has gotten two turnovers, and that has led to a 12 point lead five minutes into the game. At, let's see what Acadiana can draw up. Coming out of the timeout, Noel over to Francis who kicks it back. And they're gonna reset the play. And Moon drives Jump inside. Ball. Jump ball is called and this one goes to the skippers. Acadiana now putting some pressure on, trying to stop the bleeding. Dugas over to Priola, who's inside to Brannigan again. Berrigan now with six points on another assist by Priola. That's his third already. Priola, the only Mandeville skipper starter not to score five and a half minutes into this game. That's really impressive. Newton drives again, spin move up and in. Good play by Bakith and Newton. That ends the run by the Skippers. Let's see if Acadiana can make something happen on defense now. Try to work their way back into this game. Bearing into Logan Dugas in the corner, he thought about putting it up. Priola back to Hunter Dugas again. With the spin move over to Berrigan who drives, stops, puts it up and misses, rebound by Noel who pushes it up the floor, up and in. And that's the first basket made by D'Edward Cormier. And traveling is called, and that's the first turnover by the Skippers.
that's Cormier's first two points of the game. He leads the Rams with 15.2 points per. End of the game for the Skippers, number 23, Alexander Triforas. Priola's going to take a break with number 23, Alexander Triforas, coming into the game. The under 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. And the three is put up and bricked badly. Offensive rebound, though, by Cormier. And so now the Rams getting a second chance. Dadward passes over to Mooton, who's going to put up a three, and that's off as well. Rebound by Hunter Cooper, but it was taken away. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Mandeville holding a 17-7 lead. And with the second quarter now underway, Skippers with a 10-point lead over the Rams. Mitchell Tranchina checks in for the first time tonight. Mooton, shot is blocked. And Zach Boudreau, what a play defensively. Now the fourth turnover by the Rams already, as opposed to just two by the Skippers, but that was in the final seconds. Priola back in the game now, running the point. Over to Berrigan, who drives in again, but traveled. So that's a turnover on three straight possessions Traveling by the Skippers. Edward Cormier now running the point, gets it to Mooton. No look pass inside to D Edward. Mooton drives, spin move, puts it up and in. Four points for by Keith and Mooton, who averages 11 and five a game. Oh, bad pass by Tranchina. That's another turnover. So that's five possessions in a row. But the Skippers have turned over the ball after they managed to convert on their first five possessions of the game. Cooper over to Noel in the corner. Mooton tries to set the screen. Cooper's pass is blocked. And the foul there on Chris Cooper. Logan Berrigan going to the line to shoot two. Berrigan had six points in that first quarter. That's the first foul in the game. No fouls there in that first quarter as Berrigan misses the free throw. Hunter Dugash checking back into the game now. And he sinks the second one, one of two from the line, seven points now for Logan Berrigan. Deontay Noel over to Edward Cormier, who puts up the three, and that one's up and in, so the lead's now cut to six. Edward Cormier for three. Cormier just one of three from the floor, but that three a big one. Bergen kicks it over to Dugas in traffic, is able to get that one up and in. Good five play by Hunter Dugas. So the Skippers finally convert on their first possession. Here in the second quarter, no look pass to Cormier. Bounce it to Anthony Paris, double team. Cormier again, but he airballs this one. So no such luck as last time down the court. And this is Berrigan from three, and he sinks it. What a shot by Logan Berrigan. And just like this, that, the Skippers have gone from up six to up 11, their biggest lead of the game. And it's a turnover by Noel. Logan Dukas 
and Andrew Craig both checking into the game now for the Skippers. And the foul is called there on Edward Cormier on the push. And the Rams leading scorer, wow. Edward Cormier, Number checking one. back into the Edward game now. Cormier, his first personal, second team foul. Full court pressure still being applied by the Rams. Try to disrupt the main of the offense. It has worked to some extent. Berrigan bounce pass to Logan Dugas. It's working on Noel. Craig now get his first touch of the game. And Priola falls down, turnover. And Deadward Cormier with his four points of the game. Lead now nine. As that's another turnover, Priola's pass was tipped. And Noel puts this one up and makes it. That's two, his foot was on the line there. Noel's first two points of the game. Pass is kicked out to Berrigan who misses, but good offensive rebound by Hunter Dugas. Berrigan has it back in the corner again. Pick a set. Bad shot there by Logan Dugas. Rebound going to Noel. And that is a foul. Edward Cormier is going to go to the line to shoot two. And that's the first foul on Logan Berrigan. And the first foul on the Skippers in this game. To the line, shooting two, number one. And Edward Cormier hits the first one from the line. Antoine and Francis back into the game now as Mooton's going to take a seat on the bench. And the second one from the line is also made. So two of two from the line from Cormier who now has five points. Berrigan inbounds to Priola. Priola kicks it out. Good defense being played right now. Logan Dukas is going to get to the hole and miss the layup. So Dukas has missed two easy layups back to back, and that three is missed by Edward Cormier. But Edward Cormier puts it up and in. This lead has shrank from 11 down to three. In a matter of two minutes, this full court pressure working against the Skippers right now. Berrigan almost lost the handle on that one. Kicks it over to Dugas in the corner from three, and he misses. He's missed on the last three possessions. Rebound by Alwan Francis. And with a three here. Acadiana could somehow tie up this game. Awan Francis over to Antoine, who puts that one in. It's now a one point game. Timeout on the floor. 23 22 Mandeville with just under three in the first half. Hell of two quarters so far in this one. Mandeville's taking that first quarter 17-7, but so far here in the second, 15-6 run by the Rams has put this into a one-point game. The steal is missed. Hunter Dugas going to the hole and makes it. And that is a seven-point run. The inside pass is tipped and stolen by Priola. Berrigan gets his man in there with the pump. And it's back to Priola. He's going to set it up now for the Skippers. Pick set by Boudreaux. And it's Logan Dugas with the three from the corner. That's 
10 points now already for Logan Dugas, who had missed his last three shots before making that one. And a 5-0 run here after the timeout. Has the skippers back up by six, but the three rims out. Good shot by Antoine there, but just couldn't get it in. The double team in the corner. Timeout called by Coach Priola. 28-22, good run by the skippers. Logan Dugas inbounding to Hunter Dugas. Whatever Coach Priola told the skippers that the last timeout worked as they went on a 5-0 run. Dugas working on Antoine, gets by him, taking it to the hole again, and he's fouled on the way up by the Edward Cormier. I believe that's the second foul on Cormier. Just under a minute and a half to go. And Hunter Dugas is at the line. He sinks the first one. And the second is also good. That's now eight points for Dugas here in the first quarter. 118 to play, excuse me, in the first half. And that's a three put up by Edward Cormier, who becomes the first Ravens player in double digits with 10. Good defense being played right now. That ball is almost stolen. But Jeremy Priola puts up a three, his first shot of the game, but he misses. Berrigan rebounds, back up and in. Good offensive rebounding by Logan Berrigan so far in this one. It's the second time he's converted on second chance points. Good move there. Good hustle by Zach Berger to save that one from going out of bounds. And now the skippers have numbers, but it's tipped away and stolen. And an easy basket for Edward Francis on the other end of the court. Excuse me, De Edward Cormier. 15 seconds to go here in the first half. Skippers lead by five. This is over to Berrigan in the corner for three. And he fakes it in. What a shot, four to go. Noel bringing up the court. And that two is off, so Mandeville is going to take a 35-27 first half lead on 15 points by Logan Berrigan. Second half now underway. Mandeville up by eight. Led by 15 from Logan Berrigan, 10 from Logan Dugas, and eight from Hunter Dugas. Cormier kicks it over Noel again, who had a good first half defensively, but he drives inside, up and in. Four points now for Deontay Noel. Deontay Noel. Traveling called. So Mandeville's going to turn the ball over in their first possession. To Edward Cormier to inbound for Acadiana. Man defense being played by the skippers. Cooper thought about putting that one up. Berrigan was in his face. And the drive, and that one's off, but he gives his own rebound up and misses it. Rebound by Berrigan. Criola cross court to Dugas. Dugas back to Priola. Guarded by Edward Cormier. The skipper's passing the ball around, looking for a shot. And Logan Dugas from three. Logan Dugas now with 13 in this one. Eight points for his brother, Hunter. 
Edward Cormier from three, and that one's off. Rebound by Logan Dugas. Zach Boudreaux to Berrigan. Passes around to Priola. He's gonna find Logan Dugas again. Hunter Dugas drives inside, floater, and it's up and in. Dugas now the third skipper in double figures tonight. And an 11 point lead for Mandeville. Cormier on Cooper. Noel gets inside, pump fake. Got both Berrigan and Dugas into the air. And he's going to go to the line to shoot two. That's the first foul called on Hunter Dugas tonight. Deontay Noel goes to the line to shoot two. His first trip to the line, and he sinks the first. A 10 point lead here with 5.35 to go in the third quarter. And Noel, second from the line, is also good. So the Rams, five of six on free throws tonight. And that one's stolen by Noel, who gives it over to Edward Cormier. Two more. Full court pressure is doing its work. Priola turns it over again as that one bounces off of Logan Dugas and out of bounds. So two straight turnovers for Mandeville. As by Keith and Mooton back into this game. Hasn't played a whole lot of minutes tonight, but a very good player averaging double figures a game. So Deontay Noel playing hard the second half, running the point for Acadiana. Is it inside of Mooton, pump fake in the air, and that foul is gonna be called on Zach Boudreaux. So another trip coming to for Acadiana to the line. Acadiana doing a much better job of attacking the basket during the first three minutes of this second half. And Mooton's first one from the line is off. Just a second miss from the free throw line today for Acadiana. Those shots are gonna be key down the stretch as they try to come back from a maximum 30, 13 point deficit in the first half and the second one is good. Five points now for Mooton. Hunter Dugas speeding down the court, pulls it up. Over to Berrigan. To Logan Dugas, now to Zach Boudreaux. And that's Jeremy Priola from three. That one's off. Zach Boudreaux was fighting for the rebound. The controversial call by the ref there. That one looked like it went out on Cooper. But either way, it's Rams ball. The lead down to six here. Pick set by Mooton Noel. Pops the three and that one's in. So Deontay Noel. Five points here already in the second half. Also has forced a couple turnovers. So good play for him. And the lead's down to just three. Zach Boudreaux again with it on the outside. Berrigan to Hunter to Logan. And now Priola back with a good defense by the Rams. Pick set by Boudreaux. Hunter Dugas looking for somewhere to go. Lost it to Boudreaux. Pump fake turns and that one's in. Good double move by Zach Boudreaux there to get the basket. Four points in this one for him. Deontay Noel inside kicks it out to Cooper. Well, setting it back up at the top of the key. To Edward from three and that one's in. And now the lead is back down to two. 
Cormier now joins Noel with nine points, and that one's up and in. Good play by Hunter Dugas. He's got four here in the second half. Luton putting his elbow out there, no foul called, and he sinks the shot. Backing off on pressure now as this game has gotten closer, have the Rams. Hunter Dugas drives, puts it up, and he misses the shot, but the foul is called. That one's on Noel. So Hunter Dugas trying to take over this game for the Skippers. And he sinks the first one. 2.33 here to play in the third quarter. Antoine checking back into the game for the Rams. And the second is also good. So you got six points here early in the third quarter. And that's all that's keeping the skipper's up by four. And the three is put up. That one's off rebound by Priola. Main defense being played by the Rams. Dad were trying to tip it away. Priola puts it up and in with a hand in his face. And that's Priola's first basket of the game. The first, so the first two points by Priola are big ones. And the foul is going to be called on Zach Boudreau. Foul number 44, Zach Boudreau, the second personal. Antoine third going to the line, his first free throws the of the night. Shooting a pair, number 35, Anthony Antoine. And he makes the first one. Lead and now five with under two to play. Mandeville trying to hold on here in the second half as the Rams have come out strong. And the second one is also sunk by Anthony Antoine. So now a four point game. Berrigan with 15 in the first half, none so far in the six minutes in the second half. Skippers are going to have to get him involved if they're going to do well. And right on cue, Berrigan drops in a three. 18 points now for Logan Berrigan as he nails a three. His play is going to be key down the stretch for Mandeville. Pump fake gets him in the air. What a move by the creeps at Newton. That ball is almost stolen by Edward Cormier. And after a short break, Noel is back on the court. Pick set by Boudreau. Hunter Dugas drives inside. That one is tipped away, though. Skippers basketball. Skippers retain possession. Hunter Dugas is going to inbound. Gets it off just in time. So Priola now with the ball. Berrigan thought about putting that one up. Backed off. 47 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Skippers lead by five, Priola looking for somewhere to go with it. Logan Dukas across court to his brother from three. That one's off. Zach Boudreau jumped a little too early, couldn't get the rebound. Noel from three, and that one is also off. But the tipped ball goes straight to Alwan Francis, who puts it back up and in with a one possession game now. 20 seconds to go here, third quarter. Mandeville with the lead. Priola setting it up. 10 seconds to go. Hunter Dugas with the ball. That one's almost tipped away. 
but the foul is called. And so now the skippers are going to inbound with 4.9 seconds left. They're going to have to get a shot off quick. Hunter Dugas looking for somewhere to go with it. Goes to Berrigan, and that shot is blocked, but he gets it back, and it misses the tip in. And so now we go to the final quarter. Mandeville holding on to a slim 51-48 lead. And the final quarter is underway. Mandeville holding on to a three-point lead. They've watched it dwindle down from a 10-point lead in the first quarter. Hunter Dugas driving inside. It's gonna get fouled and one. Dugas now with eight second half points and he's gonna go to the line with a chance for another. Dugas sinks that one. So 17 points now, nine of those in the second half. So Mandeville doubles their lead on their first possession of the second half. Luton was looking to set the screen. Good defense though, Apriola to keep that from happening. Noel nowhere to go with it. Finally gets it to Francis who puts the floater in. Edward Frank, Awan Francis, excuse me, is the only bench player to score in this game, and he's got seven for the Rams. Priola to Berrigan, and the foul is called on Noel. That's the fourth on Noel, so he's going to have to take a seat on the bench. And that happens sometimes when you're playing good defense. Inbound goes to Logan Dugas. Hunter goes around the screen, set by Zach Boudreau, gets inside, puts it up, and in again. Hunter Dugas catching fire. Edward Cormier inside, and he is going to be fouled on the way up by Logan Dugas. Excuse me, they're going to give that one to Priola. The strategy here in the second half for the Rams has been to get to the line as Cormier makes the first. And they've done a really good job of that. Their fifth trip to the line here in the second half, and Cormier makes both of them. Cormier now in double figures with 11. Logan Dugas over to Berrigan. And Hunter Dugas. Goes around Berrigan's screen. Dribbles, drives, inside, up, and in again. But the shot is called off. That foul's called on Edward Cormier. Another good move by Hunter Noel, but the foul got called just prior to the shot. Dugas needs to inbound, and he does to Berrigan. Gives it to Boudreaux, steal is missed. Boudreaux drives hard to the basket, and he goes down harder. I think Boudreaux was hitting the head on that play, getting up a little slow. Foul number 15, Brian Keith at Mouton. His first personal, 16 fouls. Mouton now with three fouls. Timeout on the floor, called by the And a timeout is going to be called before the shot. Mandeville holding a four-point lead. Zach Boudreau sinks the first shot from the line after the timeout, went down hard on that play. And Coach Priola called a timeout to give him a chance to take a breather before the shot. 
And he makes one of two from the line. Alwan Francis has played good ball off the bench and he kicks over to Cormier from three and that one's off. And Hunter with the rebound, but he's double teamed looking for somewhere to go. Finally kicks it open to Priola. Hunter Dugas now calling a play. He drives inside. He's fouled. And they're going to say that it was a shooting foul. Robin Barfield now checking into the game for the first time for the Rams here with 5.14 left. Dugas one and one from the line. And he makes the first one, 20 points now. 11 of those coming in the second half. And he misses the second. Baines wanted a travel call in that one. But it's still Rams ball. Mouton inside and he puts it in. Mouton now with 11. The lead is four, under five to play now. Priola working on Antoine. The drives inside out to Berrigan, who steps up easy too. So Berrigan joins Dugas with 20 points in this one and a travel call. Gives the skippers back the ball. Mandeville needing to capitalize here if they want to put this game away and move on to the next round. Hunter Dugas up and over to Zach Boudreau. It's tipped away. Mandeville's going to maintain possession. That one went out on Antoine. Dugas inbounds to his brother in the corner. Over to Bergen and then back to Priola at the top of the key. Good defense right now by Acadiana. But Hunter Dugas drives inside and he's fouled on the way up. He's gonna go back to the line. So Hunter Dugas single-handedly taking over this game in the second half. He's the reason that Mandeville still leads. It's gonna be two shots from the line for Dugas. And he sinks the first. And he's going to drain the second. So Dugas, three of four from the free throw line. And that's a long three with a hand in his face. And Anthony Antoine sinks it. And timeout on the floor. It's a five point lead for Mandeville with 337 to play. Logan Dugas in bounce to Berrigan. Hunter Dugas with the ball at the top of the key over to his brother, Logan. Defense, 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 defense. 
Boudreaux on the wing, back. And that one's inside to Boudreaux. His man falls down and he puts it up and in. His man fell down and Boudreaux had an easy layup. So now a seven point lead for the Skippers. And that one's up and just off. Anthony Antoine playing a good game, rebound on that one goes to Berrigan. Dugas getting inside again, up and in. Blocking foul called and Dugas going to the line again. Hunter Dugas carrying Mandeville on his back this entire second half. Goes to the line for the and one. And the shot from the line by Dugas is good. 25 points now for Dugas. Mandeville now leading by 10 for the first time here in the second half. Shot from the outside by Elwan Francis. It's off, rebound, offensive by Noel. And this one's a deep three by Edward Cormier and he sinks it. Good shot there by Cormier, who's now the leading scorer in this one. Seven point lead, 2-11 to play. Hunter Dugas gets by his man again, dribbles, drives inside, falls down, recovers. Timeout called on the floor. Good timeout called right there by Coach Priola. 2-0-1 to play, Mandeville leading 67-60. So a good timeout called by Coach Priola. And that's going to be a turnover. Dugas couldn't get it in in five seconds. So now a, what could be a costly turnover. If they can capitalize, but Mooton throws it away, hitting the cheerleader in the process. Coach Priola not, still not happy about that five seconds call. Priola's foul now, and he's gonna go to the line. 10 fouls now. Priola's first from the line is bad and missed. And the second from Priola is also missed. Edward Cormier pushing the ball up the floor. 148 to go, seven point lead. Rams need to score quick. That one's inside to Mooton, who misses. Foul. Some contact there, but the ref's letting him play. And Hunter Dugas has another one. And that's Noel inside. He misses badly. Berrigan takes the rebound away. 1-12 to go. It's a nine point lead for the Skippers. One minute, one minute left in the game. The ball goes up in the air and Noel's gonna have an easy basket. So now a seven point game, 52 seconds to go. That one's blocked again. Lucky it's... And a timeout, though, is going to be called on the floor with 43.1 seconds to go. 69-62, Mandeville. So 42 seconds to go. 
And that ball's down court to Zach Boudreau, who is all alone. Rams need to force a turnover here. And that's a bad pass by Berrigan. That's a foul on Priola. And Coach Priola is fired up. So bad passing here in the last 30 seconds. As Mandeville in trouble. Noel is going to inbound to Cormier. 30 seconds to go. It's a seven point game. They need a quick score here. Noel gets to the hoop and one. Good play by Dante Noel tonight. Now 11 points as he goes to the line for the and one. The crowd letting Noel hear it here. And the shot from the line is off. Rebound by Berrigan. That a key opportunity missed to cut the lead. Foul called there on the floor on number three, Awan Francis. Mandeville in the double bonus. So Jeremy Priola is going to go to the line for two. Last time at the line, Priola missed both of his free throw attempts. And he misses again. 0 of 3 from the line tonight is Priola. Antoine's going to take a seat on the bench as Barkeitha Mooton comes back into the game. 11 points on the night for Mooton. And Priola's second shot is also off. 0 of 4 here in the final quarter from the line is Priola. And from three, that one's missed. Rebound by Priola, though. Good play there. Eight seconds to go. And they're forced to foul. And I believe Deontay Noel has fouled out. Fouled out. So Logan Dugas going to the line. So the first of two from the line coming for Logan Dugas. And he sinks the first. The Skippers had missed their last four free throws prior to that one. But now can put the game away with one more. And he sinks it. So, so 15 points on the night. Five seconds to go, and it's a turnover. Bad pass there to Edward Cormier. And now all that's left to do is inbound this ball and watch the game in. Inbound goes to Berrigan, and Mandeville is going to win this one. The Skippers will go on to face the winner of Como and Lafayette in the second round of the playoff. MVP tonight is definitely Hunter Dugas. 27 points, 18 of those coming in the second half. You are now leaving the prep zone. <laughs>